ISO John O'Donnell, and they're away. Robert Miles into the lead with Billy Penfold in second place. Bob Miles, who was really going well at the South East Centre Championship, in the lead. Bill Penfold. John Fish coming up there very quickly. Moving up to third place. Now he's just on the inside of the third. But it's Bob Miles from Leatherhead in the lead. Bill Penfold holding second. Then Jonathan Fish. Then Martin Cuff. Then John Tyso. Paul Robinson, not John O'Donnell. Bob setting the pace. John Fish trying to come through on the inside of Bill Penfold, in fact does. So it's Bob Miles, John Fish, Bill Penfold, a good scrap going on for fourth and fifth between John Tyson and Martin Cup. Second place back to John Penfold. Jonathan Fish again. The leader coming up now to take the last lap flag. It's Bob Miles. But John Fish challenging and taking the lead as they went over the line. Certainly taking the, the line of Bob Miles is there. Bill Penfold got the inside line there, but he couldn't get past Bob Miles. Bob Miles pulls the stop down, but he's not going to catch John Fish. So the first race of the afternoon looks like, like being a win for John Fish. It is a win for John Fish from Bob Miles, Bill Penfold, Martin Cuff and John Tyso. David Penfold, the new South Eastern Centre left-hand sidecar champion in this one. Along with Paul Matthews, Ray Tallett, Terry Patchell. And they're away. The new centre champion goes in the lead. It's David Penfold Jr. in the lead. All through the South East centre championship, I was thinking that was David Penfold Sr. But it was David Penfold Jr. And uh, what a mark he's setting on, on the left-hand side cars. Really out to prove something now as South Eastern Centre champion to retain that and throughout the year and keep up the pressure. Dave Penfold got a fantastic lead. Dave Penfold in the lead. Positions changing. Billy Penfold. And Ray Tallett there. Almost half a lap between the leader and the second man as Dave Penfold Jr. starts his last lap. Billy Penfold taking the tight line. Ray Tallett there. As the leader nearly catching up with the last man there. A win for David Penfold. In second place, Billy Penfold. In third place, Ray Tallett. In fourth place, I think that's number five, but I'm not... No, it's not. We don't know who that is. First place was one, two, three, Dave Penfold. Second was 23, Billy Penfold. Third place, one, two, two, Ray Tullett. In fourth place, question mark, six, 20, but we're not sure. In fifth place, eight, six, two. In 7th place, 174, and in ninth place, 142. Winner's time, 1 minute 40.82 seconds. 123, 23, 122, 620, 862, 174.
this time, 1 minute 40.82 seconds as the leader, Robert Heath, goes into the lead. Now that looks like Robert Heath and it should be John O'Donnell according to our, uh, what I gave out earlier on. So uh, your guess is as good as ours. It looks very much like Robert Heath to me. Well, we're trying to sort out whether that's Robert Heath or John O'Donnell. In second place was number 24. But question mark, Robert Heath, John O'Donnell in the lead. With Tony Penfold in second. Sorry, Tommy, not Tony. Yeah, these Tony's and Tommy's muddled up. And Tommy making a bit of ground there, challenge the leader into that top end there. Taking a real tight line. John O'Donnell from Tommy Penfold. Then Neil Cuff. Mick Cameron back in fifth place. Then the Davis brothers. And Richard Brown bringing up the rear. Certainly Tommy Penfold challenging, he's going to make a last minute ditch and trying to come through on the inside and it's going to be a close one. A win for Tommy Penfold from John O'Donnell, Neil Cuff, Mick Cameron. Lining up now for the first of the 250s of the afternoon. And they're away. Steve King off to a good start. Steve King on the inside. And 120, a new one on me, is Jamie Pantry. Well, he's not a new one on me because I've seen him a lot in school boys. Jamie Pantry is uh, part of the road in the, in the quad demonstration the other week, Gare yeah, down at Bindon. But it's Steve King in the lead from Wayne Carman, Jamie Pantry. Jeff Urban there. The leader, Steve King from Wayne Carman, Jamie Pantry, Bernie Edwards. Jeff Urban there with him. Positions remaining much the same. Steve King increasing his lead from Wayne Carman. Jamie Pantry going well in his first adult meeting. There's a lot more juniors to come up to adults. And uh, next season we'll see a few more names. Steve King well in the lead. Wayne Carman and Jamie, Jamie Patrick coming up there very quickly. Wayne Carman, another ex-schoolboy rider there. A win for Steve King. With Wayne Carman just getting the advantage from Jamie Patrick, Jeff Urban. Ricky Sanford, Mark Giles, John Pilcher, Keith Richards all in this one, so it should be a good one. Ricky Sammer takes the lead from Mark Giles with Philip Sims. That's Ricky Sammer who rides for Hackney Juniors in the lead. Ricky Sammer out to prove a point this afternoon. Philip Sims, then Bill Sims, then Mark Giles, then John Pilcher. Keith Richards back in about seventh place there, the man from comes up from Waterlooville to ride in the southeast. A lot of weekends throughout the summer and enjoys riding up in the southeast. It's still Ricky Sammer in the lead from Philip Sims. Philip Sims chasing hard. Bill Sims going well in third, then Mark Giles, John Pilcher. Jason Jeanette, Keith Richards, Brian Cornelius, Arthur Living, Alan Dan, a long, long way 
Van Green up the rear and Philip Sims goes on the inside of Ricky Stanford. Philip Sims it is on the last lap now from Ricky Stanford. Mark Giles now substantiating third place. So Ricky Stanford's got it all to do to try and catch Philip Sims now. Coming out of that top end is Philip Sims. A win for Philip Sims and Ricky Sanford. Mark Giles in third, John Pilcher in fourth, Bill Sims, Jason Jeanette, Keith Richards, Ryan Cornelius, long way back, Arthur Livings, and even further back, Alan Dan still to come round. Martin was down to do it, I filled in, so we're going to do it between us today. We've worked be together before, so uh, you might see a bit of... Um, They're off on the right-hand side cars. We were busy talking there, and I'm not sure. I think it's Ian Aram in the lead, I'm not sure. No, it's not. Dave Steer, steering his way in the lead from Ian Aram. Kevin Simmons, Harry Ross. Dave Steer, steering his way to the lead there from Ian Aram, Kevin Simmons, Harry Ross, Peter Watkins. Dave Steer now on his last lap, increasing his lead from Ian Aram. Telling Ian Aram to get a move on there. Pete Watkins coming around the inside and, well, goodness knows what he's doing there. That looked very dangerous. A win for Dave Steer. From Ian Aram in second. Kevin Simmons. Not sure who that 43 was suddenly coming there quickly. That's one of the new ones. Roy Spreadley. Spreadbury. Listen, you do it if you, if you don't do it. <laughs> and that was when Ian was racing here. That was his first adult. <laughs> They're away on the second of the right hand side cars. Mick Cameron moving up into second there is Neville Penfold in third. In the lead, I think it's Richard Jenner. Richard Jenner it is, in the lead. From Mick Cameron, Neville Penfold. Certainly we've got a, a host of talent in the right-hand side cars now, as I mentioned. And the South Eastern Centre Championships, we've got enough riders now that are going well that can ride in, make two teams for the inter -center. It's Mick Cameron in the lead. Jenner. Neville Penfold trying to go through there. And George Penfold out with trouble down there. The leader, Mick Cameron, with Paul Randall in the chair. On his last lap now. Jason Steer going well in second. Young Neville's Penfold still sorting his V-twin out, but going very well. As the leader comes up to take the checker flag, a win for Mick Cameron from Jason Steer. Neville Penfold got trouble. Oh, Neville Penfold going to push over. Well, that's a shame. They're away. Tim Bennett off to a good start. We're trying to work out who he's got on board as a passenger this afternoon. We think it could be one of the pen poles. We're not sure. We haven't been informed, but it's Rob Wilson coming out of that corner first. 
Jason Steer then Tim Bennett Tim Bennett obviously got a new passenger there so he's being a little bit cautious and not used to riding with one another but they're sorting things out there it's Rob Wilson the right hand South Eastern Centre sidecar champion in the lead from Jason Steer Tim Bennett Jerry Adams I'm saying Jason Steer, it was Richard Chandler. My apologies. Rob Wilson coming up to take his last lap flag now. From Richard Chandler. Tim Bennett, Jerry Adams. Jerry Adams who rode well at the British Masters last week. Trying to go through on the inside of Tim Bennett there, but it, no, he's now trying to go through the outside, or round the outside, I should say, as the leader comes up to take the checker flag. A win for Robert Wilson. Richard Chandler in second. Jerry Adams in third. Tim Bennett in fourth. And Ron Marshall in fifth. Riders, please note that uh, Fritland and District Motorcycle Club's meeting on the 30th of September, a bit short on entries and they don't like late arrivals, so if you could get your entry in early, that'd be much appreciated. Away we go then, in race nine, and it's Alan Harmon that takes the lead from David Mears there in second spot as they round that first corner. Steve King holding in the third. Alan Harmon put a little bit clear there of David Mears. These two had a right deed on battle in the South East Centre Championships at Wallpack Corner only a fortnight ago, and they're hard at it again now. Alan Harmer, David Mears, Steve King, Mark Harris, Neil Emmett. Alan Harmer, fighting that left leg. Really got the bit between his seat this afternoon, reigning South Eastern Centre champion. From David Mears in second, then Mark Harris, then Steve King dropping back to third. From the limit and Mark Sawyer. Mark Sawyer's up from the southern centre. He's been back on this afternoon in the South Eastern Centre. The last map player goes, it's Alan Harmer. Well on his way to his first win of the afternoon from David Mears there in second, then Mark Harris and Steve King. A little way back, the other. So we can half a lap to go, we've got Alan Harmer into the last turn for the last time. Well clear of David Mears. Just a little bit wide, but got it all wound up. A win there for number 121, Alan Harmer from David Mears, Mark Harris and Steve King. 354, Terry Mussett having another ride on the grass, his first for some considerable time, having had a go at the speedway. So away they go and down to the first turn, it's Vincent Kinchin with Duncan Tollis going up on the inside, and Paul Mitchell there holding third. Back on the inside, Paul Mitchell there in second, and Duncan Tollis in third. Duncan Tollis trying to ride around the outside of Paul Mitchell, those two are locked in battle as they come around that turn, Duncan Tollis cuts up for the inside back alongside Paul Mitchell, just takes the second place from him. Vince Kenshin knows, dives his way to the outside, but he's still holding on to the lead. Tall figure of Vince Kenshin from Duncan Thomas. Vince Kenshin powering on in front, Duncan Thomas. Fighting hard in second from Paul Mitchell in third. Steve Wilson there in fourth. Michael Randall and Terry Mussin. Terry Mussin making a superb corner there. It's down to Michael Randall, but back to the leaders. And the last match play goes out for number eight, Vincent Kitchen. Fear of Duncan Thomas with Paul Mitchell still trying everything he knows to come back on terms with Duncan there. So Duncan flies right, Paul Mitchell comes up on the inside, but he's not quite quick enough. It's Vince Kenshin then into that last turn for the last time, squeezing the throttle hard. Around comes Vincent Kenshin, the current 500 and unlimited PC South East Centre champion. He wins race 10, Duncan Thomas in second. Paul Mitchell in third. Coming to the line there, I can see we have a 139, David Mears. Just one race ago and he was out in that 350 and now he's out on the 500. 
Need to be fit some of these boys. Also Phil Buckley in those same two races. And away they go and someone has looped it off the line there. Didn't quite see who it was. But it's number 70, Paul Smith, that makes that jump and into the first turn first. Drifts a little bit wide. I think it's Chris Number 70, Paul Smith in second. David Mears struggling there in third with Keith Richards in fourth. So Chris Tritton got it on his own way at the moment. So Chris Tritton holding on to that thing. Keith Richards comes up to second. But David Mears powering hard with the outside. Hey, Keith Richards then gets up in the second place. So it's Chris Tritton on David Mears. From Keith Richards. Seem to have lost Paul Smith on the centre green over there. Obviously got some trouble. So Chris Pritchett got it all his own way. Well clear the rest of the pack. And Keith Richards again takes that second place. Running out in JP is the third. So the last match play goes and Chris Pritchett not knowing that anything is the drama behind him. Powers on towards victory from Keith Richards holding a good sideline in second. David Mears trying the long way around in third. So with the checkered flag awakening, it's number three, Chris Tritton that wins. One four three, Keith Richards takes second. One three nine, David Mears in third. So we got one two one, Alan Armour. Number 14, John Cook. 214, John Wilson. 184, Mark Sawyers, who was out there on that 350 earlier on. Also, Robin Pilcher, James Cramp, and Adrian Harden, to name but a few. Looks like James Cramp, the last man to come into line there. Popular man in this neck of the woods, in the Sussex coastal areas. And away they go. It's 1 2 1, Alan Harbour that makes the break from 2 1 4. Steve Wilson there in second. Quite a bit of backing up on the first turn. Between one or two places only, you can't have perfection. But Alan Harbour certainly finds it to his liking. Clear now of John Wilson in second, followed by John Cook, then Robin Pilcher, Brian Cornelius, Paul Stiverett. That's the race continues, and it's Alan Harbour in full flight here this afternoon, really revelling in being the South Eastern Centre Champion in the 350 class. Going extremely well here in the 500 class. A right big dog battle on the tail end of there, trying to sort out the line of position. That's Paul Steinbridge goes to a bit wide, he went to the tailbrake and that's the thing, it's nothing or something. 1-2-1, one, one, Alan Harmer takes the last lap flag from 2-1-4, John Wilson, followed by 14, John Cook, and Robin Hilton. So, the most excited for this race is Alan Harmer on full flight. Really looking like he means the business this afternoon. Alan Harmer wins. John Wilson second. He's been about... Quite a few years, about 25 years I know he's been racing, but he's not racing today. They're away, and from the break, John Fish gets a good start from Mick Cameron and then Neil Cuff. Streaking ahead of Mick Cameron. This John Fish on one of the big multis there. Mick Cameron on the V twin, one of the Gordon V twins. Gordon V twins been having quite a good season. Not only in the centre but all round.
This John Fish setting the pace this time from Mick Cameron, Ray Tullet, Neil Cuff, Billy Penfold, Larry Lamb bringing up the rear. Well spread out, makes it very easy for our lap scorer here. Mind you, she's one of the best. In fact, she's uh, one of the tops in the centre. John Fish, Mick Cameron, Ray Tullett, Martin Cuff, sorry, Neil Cuff. Father's son, mother's son, like Martin does with my son. And my, my two sons, I should say. But we'll give that out in a moment. They're on the line for the second heat of the second leg of the left-hand side cars. Bob Penfold not having any messing about there. He's making sure they've all got their wheels in the right place. We've not only got Penfold out there racing, we've got Bob Penfold on the Start line there and a very good start Marshall is and they're away. Dave Penfold off to a good start, followed by Richard Brown and Terry Patchell. Terry Patchell did come out last time, but he's out this time and he's second place. Dave Penfold. Julie Brown, centre champion. Streaking away from Terry Patchell. holding second, then the Davis brothers, Richard Brown, but the leader really getting a bit between his teeth and streaking away from Terry Patchell. Increasing his lead all the time, Terry Patchell's not hanging about either, but if Davis then Richard Brown. F.P. Chapman. I said F.P. Chapman, it's Paul Chapman. I knew I'd done wrong. As the leader takes the last that flag. Almost a quarter of a lap ahead of the second man. Bill Phillip Davis in third. Richard Brown. One seven four bringing up the rear. Yeah. A win for Dave Penfold, well ahead of Terry Patchell. Philip Davis, Richard Brown, Paul Chapman, and 174, which is Keith Lester, Lesseter. And as I said earlier on, he should be passenger in uh, Paul Robertson, so he's got his work cut out. Might be his brother or his son, I'm not sure, but... It's the same Paul uh, John O'Donnell, so um, he, he can't cut himself in half. Can't be on two bikes at once, can he, Martin? I'll be likely, really. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Penfold off into the lead from Martin Cuff. Tommy Penfold taking the lead from Bob Miles. Bill Penfold making up a bit of ground and moving up into third. They go into that top bend there. But it's Tommy Pimpole got the bit between his teeth this time. In the lead from Bob Miles. Bill Pimpold. Martin Cuff. John O'Donnell. John Tyso. Makes a lot of ground coming up that back straight there. Challenging second place. But it's Bob Miles taking the lead now from Tommy Pimpold. Bill still holding third, Martin Cuff fourth, John O'Donnell fifth, John Tyco holding sixth, they're spreading out the tail enders but it's Bob Miles setting the pace. Bob Miles now on his last lap from Tommy Penfold, Bill Penfold, Martin Cuff, John O'Donnell. 
John Tyco bringing up the rear a long way back on his home territory, but not performing well, so well today. As the leader comes around to take the checker flag, a win for Bob Miles and Tommy Penfold and Bill Penfold. Martin Cuff and John O'Donnell. Well, they sorted themselves out. It's Philip Sims that gets to the turn first from Bernie Edwards there in second. Keith Edwards, uh, Keith Richards in third. Mark Dial there. That's right in the knee. Don't battle for that third spot. Mark Dial's making the best of those at the moment. That is. Phil Sims out of that turn. On his quick little Yamaha from Bernie Edwards there in second. Mark Giles in third. Mark Giles trying hard to come up alongside Bernie Edwards. Takes that second place. Bernie Edwards has been a man that's been a the last number of years. Philip Sims is quite an expert in his own right as well and he leads from Mark Giles there in second. And the rest of the field becoming rather spread out. So it's Phil Sims. Coming past the start, proper wide open. Making the last lap back from Mark Giles in second, Jason Jennett in third, then Mr Carmen. Bernie Edwards and Keith Richards. Those pit fielders there definitely having a right ding dong battle from the start to the finish. But knowing nothing about it, and not a care in the world. Squeezing that bottle for the last time. It's 18. Philip Sims that wins from Mark Giles in second. Jason Jimmy in third. Then Wayne Carlman and Bernie Edwards. Just waiting for somebody else to get ready and they're away. Mick Cameron off to a good start. Straight into the lead. Mick Cameron, Neville Penfold coming through there. Mick Cameron, Neville Penfold. Roy Spreadbury, Richard Moore and Jason Steer bringing up the rear. I'm a poet and don't know it. I've said that before as well. The leader, Mick Cameron. Very experienced Mick Cameron in the lead with... Paul Randall in the chair. Good battle going on between Neville Penfold and this Roy Spreadbury. A new name for me. I'm not sure where he comes from. I'll have to check. I think he comes from out of centre. A new name on me. But he's certainly going well. The leader, Mick Cameron. From this Roy Spreadbury. Neville Penfold. Certainly got problems there. Richard Moore. And we've lost Jason Steer. Well, Roy Spreadbury belongs to Mason Aces. He's riding a, a Gordon V twin in a wasp frame. As the winner takes the checker flag, a win for Mick Cameron from Roy Spreadbury. They're away on the right hand side cars. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Matthew Lewin in the lead. Matthew Lewin in the lead from Richard Chandler, then Ian Aram. No, sorry, Ian Aram's way back there. Just talking there as they all got underway. Matthew Lewin with a bit between his teeth. Wow, he nearly lost it there. Matthew Lewin. Jerry Adams up in second place now. Jerry Adams has been going very, very well in recent weeks. Chasing Matthew Lewin now. They're all bunching up on the corner there. Nearly three abreast as Jerry Adams comes through on the inside to take the lead from Matthew Lewin. George Penfold, then Richard Jenner. Then Richard Chandler, Ian Aram. And the pace is certainly going there. Jerry Adams powers it on at the right time. Opens that throttle. From Matthew Lewin is still holding well. George Penfold, Richard Jenner. 
and they finish that in that order. It's the lead. Rob Wilson being chased by Dave Steer. Dave Steer taking the tight line, Robert Wilson the outside line. Dave Steer on the inside, Robert Wilson on the outside. Tim Bennett. And this battle is going on between David Steer, the, can we say, reasonably local lad from Sussex, from the South Eastern Centre champion, Rob Wilson. Tim Bennett holding third. What a blank, who's full team? Rob Wilson going wide as Dave Steer takes his last lap flag. Rob Wilson either got electric problems or something, or cutout problems. Definitely got problems as they're all closing up on him. That's un unusual and unlucky for Rob Wilson, but that's racing. He's either got electric magic box problems as a winner takes a checkered flag. A win for Dave Steer. Oliver Tim Bennett, Ron Chandler, and Harry Ross. There they go. Yeah. And away they go then, Dee, on this straight. Alan Harmer from David Mears. It's the turn of the 350cc boys again. You'll tell these machines by their blue number plates and their white numbers. Alan Harmer, current. 350cc South Eastern Centre Champion. Really putting one over on the rest of the field. David Mears, who was second in that championship, is stepping back to third place in this race. Definitely seems to take a wide line round, but doesn't really stand in style. Well, Alan Harmer dropped it on that corner, beyond my vision. And uh, We've new, got a new leader in 139, David Mears, with 260, Mark Harris pushing hard there in second place. Steve King in third. Mark Harris going again up the inside, takes the lead from David Mears. It's a big struggle on in this one. He's off a little bit too much into that corner, and Dave Mears powers on the outside. So it's Dave Mears back in front, but Mark Harris cutting up on the inside again to take the lead. Those two boys have been at it, Hammer and Tom, right through this race. Dave Mears cuts up to the inside a little bit. Mark Harris now tries to go around the outside. Shows that that doesn't quite pay off. As they go into that turn almost side by side. Mark Harris again working up there for the inside. David Mears drifting wide. What's it going to be at the finish? It's Mark Harris that wins from David Mears there in second place. The current. 500cc and unlimited cc South Eastern Centre Champion one win under his belt this afternoon already having a bit of trouble settling on the line but they're away now down that first straight it's Steve Wilson from Vince Kinchin into that first turn those four fear of the rest of the field Look at this battle coming round here as Steve Wilson fights to hold on to the lead as Vince Kenshin fights just as hard to take the lead from him. There's no love loss between those two boys. Vince Kenshin has the advantage at the moment with Steve Wilson trying hard in second. Chris Chris is going to the ground there in third. He pushes the lead in fourth. So it's eight. Vince Kenshin at half distance from... Steve Wilson in second and Chris Tritton in third. A little way back to Keith Richards and he's going to play up Malcolm Smith. Terry Nutton, Dennis Nottridge and Paul Watson. So, taking the last lap flag, Vince Kinchin on his way to his second win of the afternoon with Steve Wilson in second and Chris Tritton there in third. A little way back to Keith Richards looking over his shoulder for the opposition. He's going to play up Terry Nutton, Malcolm Smith. Dennis Nottridge and Paul Watson. Terry Nutton out again with problems for the second win of the afternoon for our reigning South Eastern Centre double champion, Vince Kenshin. Steve Wilson taking third, Chris Tritton fourth. The venue for this Brian Cree Memorial Trophy, 1990. And away they go then, right?
race 23. Alan Harmer again making the best of the start with Paul Mitchell in very close attendance on that first turn. Paul Mitchell cuts up the inside. Alan Harmer takes that outside line. Paul Mitchell in single speed up that back straight. Tom Alan Harmer in second and a long way back there is Paul Stiverts at the moment in third. Then Robin Pilcher. So Paul Mitchell. Alan Harmer. John Pilcher. The two leaders are well spread out and well clear of the rest of the field, but there's lots of action in the midfielders. We've got Jason Jennett and Robin Pilcher battling it out there. Then Paul Stybrick, Jeff Urban, Brian Cornelius, Phil Buckley, Les Rowland. Alan Harmer tries to work in the same place, they can't be lining them, tries to fight in the same place, and twice he did, and twice I missed it. So Paul Mitchell has this one handed to him on a plate. He's well clear now of Robin Pilcher in second. Jason Jenny breaks down there. Problems all round in this one. But no problems for the flying picture of this race. Number 29, Paul Mitchell wins. Robin Pilcher gets second. And looking on that battle for third, it's just Paul Steinbritt's head of Brian Cornelius and Jeff Urban. On the line and away they go, down this first straight. Dean Norton making the best of the start, but Duncan Tollis soon overhauling him into that first turn. So it's Duncan Tollis. David Mears in second. So round they come, fast and furious. David Mears throwing the muck in the face of David Mears there. That's Duncan Tollis from David Mears. John Wilson, John Cook. One of the Michael Randalls in a bit of a favour and not confusing the issue. So round they come then. 74, Duncan Tollis from 139, David Mears at half distance from John Cook, Dean Norton, John Wilson, Michael Randall. Duncan Tollis put a little lead now on. David Mears. Duncan Tollis right on a very nice tight line around this circuit. Starts his mass lap from David Mears in second. Then it's John Cook and John Wilson side by side. And Dean Norton lost a little bit of ground. And John Cook nearly going over the handlebars there. She seems to stutter. But looking to our left, coming up now to take that checkered flag, it's a win for Duncan Tollers from 139, David Mears in a good second position. John Wilson taking third, Dean Norton in fourth, then John Cook and Michael Randall. Tommy Penfold and Brian Holland. Whether we've got a full line up there, we seem to have about five outfits there, so I think we're one missing even from that lot. And somebody got problems there. It's Tommy Penfold. And they're away. It's Tommy Penfold goes into the lead with Martin Cuff and John O'Donnell. Tommy Penfold it is. Martin Cuff going well in second. John O'Donnell standing up and down on that back straight. Standing well up out of the seat there but uh, must have been a reason for it it's Tommy Penfold from Martin Cuff John O'Donnell, John Tyso and this is still keep getting a few, a few more new names taking up left hand side cars like we do on the right hand side cars that's why we're getting very strong in side cars Tommy Penfold increasing his lead from Martin Cuff, John O'Donnell and John Tyso. Lessons of 
going. I was just trying to think who to find that was before. It's John Fisher's brothers, but um, I don't know. Tommy Pempold. Nearly half a lap in the lead from John O'Donnell, John Tyso. Martin Cuff got trouble with chain off. So, nothing too serious, just a chain off, but that can push him out of the reckoning in this race at least. A win for Tommy Penfold. From John O'Donnell, still standing out of that seat, getting the weight over the front wheel. Uh, should be all going there with the exception of Tony Penfold. They're away and it's Dave Penfold takes the lead and roars into the lead from Richard Brown, Neil Cuff, Terry Patchell. Whether he missed the gear there, it's Terry Patchell taking the lead with Martin Cuff there. Sorry, Neil Cuff. I'll get, I've known Neil, Neil Cuff for years and I'll get him muddled up with his son now. It's Terry Patchell in the lead from Dave Penfold. Bob Miles come up there very quickly. That's Bob Miles keeping Dave Penfold at bay. Terry Patchell pulling away. Dave Penfold's up to second now. It's Looking through my glasses the wrong way. Terry Patchell, Dave Penfold, Bob Mars, Jonathan Fish, Neil Cuff, and Richard Brown. And the action's all at the lead as Dave Penfold's trying to go past Terry Patchell. Terry Patchell opens that throttle a bit wide and Dave Penfold closes quickly on the corner there. Still one lap to go after they finish this one. It's Terry Patchell in the lead from Dave Penfold. Bob Miles still holding third. Terry Patchell. Dave Penfold's really got it all to do. He's got to come out accelerate him as Bob Miles comes on the inside. And Dave Penfold's got to go around the outside. It's going to be a close. It's a win for Terry Patchell from Bob Miles, Jonathan Fish and Dave Penfold. With Neil Cuff and Richard Brown bringing up the rear. Go away. And Mick Cameron takes the lead from Bill Penfold. Mick Cameron in the lead with Graham Hilton in the chair and they've got trouble. They've got trouble. Chain off or something. But everyone's by him and it's Bill Penfold taking the lead. Mick Cameron with his left-hand side car passenger problems. So it's Bill Penfold in the lead from Ray Tullett, Philip Davis, Billy Penfold. And they're looking so it might be chain, it might not be. Uh, cut the chain in the middle there, so it's uh, unlucky for Mick Cameron and Graham Hilton, but that's racing. It's Bill Penfold in the lead. Well ahead of Ray Tullett. Philip Davis, Billy Penfold. Paul Chapman and Larry Lamb bringing up the rear. Bill Penfold can take it easy. Preserve the motor. He's not being pushed there too much. On his last lap now. Ray Tullin on his last lap, followed by Phil Davis. Billy Penfold. Still the same, quite well spread out. It's going to be an easy win for Bill Penfold. He can coast home now. Not quite, but he's got to accelerate and coast home. That's a win for Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw from Ray Tullett. Philip Davis and Bill Penfold together. Then Paul Chapman and then Larry Lamb to be confirmed. It's so away they go. They're the first straight. And it's Bill Sims with 115. Bernie Edwards there in the second place. With Mark Charles and Keith Richards. All setting the pace to the front, but Bill Sims seems to have run away with it at the moment.
still sins on that ACM. But it's been around for a day or two. I used to ride one myself. and then Bernie Edwards. So, coming round that last turn for the last time already. Lydia Yellow Helmet of Phil Sims. He wins race 28. On Mark Giles in second. Keith Richards in third. Bernie Edwards in fourth. You get Brian Cornelius in this one, Jeff Urban, Ricky Sanford, a previous race winner, Steve King, who goes very well, and they're on their way to that first turn. It's Ricky Sanford and Steve King that get there first. Jamie Pantry, the young man just up from the juniors, holding third at the moment. John Pelton, who's turning outside. It's Ricky Sanford the lead from John Pelton now up to second. Steve King's in third. Aaron Carmen in fourth. Should have another good one between Rob Wilson, Mick Cameron, Ian Aram, George Pembold, Kevin Simmons, Pete Watkins, and Matthew Lewin. Andrew Glenny, I don't think we've seen him going this afternoon. Oh. Trying to turn right all the time. Mind you, that's what right handers are all about, turning right all the time, isn't it, Martin? Yeah, not too early, though. <laughs> <laughs> not halfway down the straight. There are I. And Mick Cameron on the inside, Rob Wilson just inside him. And it's Rob Wilson takes the lead. Mick Cameron taking a very tight line. It's Rob Wilson from Mick Cameron. Then Pete Watkins. Then George Pempole. Then Ian Aaron bringing up the rear. But it's action at the front. The centre champion in the lead from Mick Cameron. And they're streaking ahead of the rest of the field. Rob Wilson, Mick Cameron. Mick Cameron taking a very tight line. Pete Watkins sorted himself out now in third. Ian Aram in fourth. George Penfold in, in fifth. But the first two pulling away even more. As George Penfold grains a bit of ground and moves up into fourth. It's still Rob Wilson in the lead. And up now to take his last lap flag from... Cameron in second, Pete Watkins in third, George Penfold, Ian Aram. A bit of dust starting to come up now. But there again, it's getting near interval, Tom. We're probably water again as the leader comes out that bottom bend and up now to take the checker flag. A win for Rob Wilson from Mick Cameron. With Pete Watkins in third, 
George Penfold in fourth and Ian Aram in fifth. <laughs> and they're away, and once again, Tim Bennett always gets some great starts. I've always said this about Tim, but he's in the lead this time from Neville Penfold, who's moving up into second. <laughs> Tim Bennett in the lead with Neville Penfold in this Roy Spreadbury. We've assumed that Tim Bennett's got a different passenger because Neville Penhold comes up inside and takes the lead, but no Tim Bennett's right there with him on the inside. Neville Penhold once again got trouble. Tim Bennett in the lead from Roy Spreadbury. Neville Penhold definitely got trouble. He's got his hand up. Well, that's unlucky for Neville. Whether that magic box working loose or cut out coming out, I don't know, don't know but the action in the front there with Tim Bennett, with Roy Spreadbury in second, then a long way back, Harry Ross, and even further back, Richard Moore. Coming around the bottom bend for the last time, it's Tim Bennett being chased by Roy Spreadbury. There's going to be a win for Tim Bennett from Roy Spreadbury. And then a long way back, as I said earlier on, Harry Ross. Yeah. Right, they're away. Out of that corner first is Dave Steer in the lead. And there's problems on that, on that bottom bend. Uh, Richard Jenner with troubles. There's a red flag, the race is being stopped. In the interest of safety, Richard Jenner in there as well. But it's Dave Steer in the lead We're from Jerry Adams. Dave Steer steering away ahead of Jerry Adams. Richard Jenner in third. Jason Steer and then Ron Chandler. I got him round the wrong way. I hadn't got my glasses on. Jason Steer in the lead from Jerry Adams. D uh, Dave Steer, I said. <laughs> Did I? You'll get me at it. <laughs> Dave Steer, it is setting the pace. Well, Richard Jenner got problems. No, he's pulling away again. Dave Steer in the lead from Jerry Adams. Richard Chandler. And then Ron Marshall bringing up the rear. He's not bringing up the rear because Richard Jenner's still going. No, you can't give it to him, Harry. <laughs> Harry gets muddled out there. It's a win for Dave Steer from Jerry Adams. And a scrap right to the last with Richard Chandler and Ron Marshall. <laughs> and away they come down this first straight. It's David Mears that takes an early lead with Mark Harris, then Steve King, and I didn't see Alan Harmer in this one. Perhaps his machine suffered a bit of damage in that earlier race. So David Mears being found this one under control at the moment. With Mark Harris pressing on there in second place, very, very quick indeed. Mark Harris, I believe, from the southern centre. Rides extremely well. Steve King's there in third. So, 139, David Mears then continuing his way towards victory in this one with Mark Harris there holding a good second. Then Steve King. Second position and a long way back then to 66. Steve King. Right, four Mark Sawyer, 336 Bill Buckley at 58, the limit. 251 Dave Ivey at number 20, Alan Sands. Bill Brass, spread out at the moment, 
back into third place. Back to fourth place. Run, no slipping back. But a man in front. It's a win for number 74, Duncan Toller. Look at this battle for second. It's John Wilson in second. Robin Pilcher in third. Dean Norton in fourth. Then John Cook and Michael Randall. Bear away. Chandler, then Ron Marshall, trying to get these RCs and RMs right. George Penfold setting the pace this time. Hasn't done a lot all day, but he's making an impression in this one. Richard Moore in, in third. And the dust starting to come up quite a bit now. This uh, thought we might have had a little drop of water on during the interval, but we didn't. George Penfold in this six lap final. Yeah. Uh, George Penfold has pulled out with trouble, so it's Ron Marshall in the lead now. That's a shame, but George Penfold, he was going so well, I spoke too soon. Ron Marshall, Peter Watkins and Richard Moore, and that's all we have left in this B final. I don't know how far the money goes down in the very quickly. Seems to be riding, standing up out of the chair, out of the uh, seat. Don't know for what reason, perhaps his bottom's sore. A win for Ron Marshall. From Richard Moore and Peter Watkins. <laughs> she charged me to come in, in here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> John Tyson and also Mick Cameron. It's Terry Patcher on the inside, Mick Cameron on the outside. John Tyson in there, but somebody else has come up there quickly. It's Terry Patcher and Mick Cameron, where the action is, in the front. Terry Patcher on the inside, Mick Cameron on the outside. And the pace is certainly hot in this B final. Terry Patcher, Mick Cameron, John Tyson, Martin Cuff, Paul Chapman, Philip Davis. Keith Lesseter and he'll come. Looks as though he's going to retire any minute. He does. As the action in the front there is Terry Patchell. I bet Eric Tyso's watching him because he used to ride with him. Terry Patchell, John Tyso going well in second. Mick Cameron in third. Martin Cuff, Paul Chapman, and Philip Davis. And Keith Lesseter bringing up the rear. Terry Patchell's got the lead from John Tyso, and John Tyso closing on that corner. These Sussex men really going well on home territory. Six lap final once again. But Mick Cameron going well in third place, representing Kent. Representing himself, and um, I'm meaning he comes from Kent. The leader, Terry Patchell. Still John Tyson in second. Mick Cameron in third. Terry Patchell goes a bit wide this time. Is John Tyson going to come through? He knows he's there. He's catching on it, closing on him all the time. John Tyson is certainly going to have a go this time, I think. Perhaps not. Yes, he seems to turn the power on in the corners and tries to come on the inside as Terry Patchell goes wide, but he's not going as wide this time. He looks over his shoulder, he knows he's there. Mick Cameron's still in third. A long gap, but we have Philip Davis. Martin Cuff. Paul Chapman. And Keith Lesseter. And the action back on that top end again. Terry Patchell coming out. John Tyson giving up, I think. No, he's not. He's still going. A win for Terry Patchell from John Tyson and Mick Cameron in third. And they were racing well with Philip Davis fourth, 
Martin Cuff, fifth, Paul Chapman, sixth, and Keith Lesseter, seventh, bringing up the rear. And they're away without Keith Richards. We should get a red flag on that one as a unsatisfactory start. All the way this time. Down to the first turn they go. It's 0-4, Ricky Sanford making the best of the start with Mark Giles there in second and a whole gaggle of riders all side by side into that turn. That's the turn that sorts them into the board. Not a break for a man to make And away goes 0-4, Ricky Sanford. And look at the rest of them trying to catch him up and get on his heels. Ricky Sanford on a nice tight line there, squirting on the throttle. Keeping clear of the rest of the field. It's Philip Sims up to second. Brian Cornelius in third, Mark Giles in fourth, Robin Pilcher in fifth, then Alan Carman, Jamie Pantry in his first, seeking a final. So, back to do in this race. Coming round there very fast, it's 04, Ricky Sanford from 18, Philip Sims, Mark Giles, Brian Cornelius, Jamie Pantry stood in there and trying hard and down he goes. Johnson to be a curse. Someone needs to watch this afternoon. As soon as we mentioned your name, something goes wrong. That's why you can tell you back to the right there and there. Somebody's got up as yet. And the red flag goes out. The race being stopped in the interest of safety. First man to put his hand in the air is 04, Ricky Sanford. And uh, I'm sure he'll uh, not be too chuffed at that, having led that race from start. Riders on the line to do battle for the Brian Cree 250cc. Final here this afternoon at Hamfield, Stenning. Off we go then, down that first straight. Bernie Edwards getting a bit of a wheelie on. It's 04, Ricky Sanford and 49, John Pilcher that gets to that first turn first. 04, Ricky Sanford doing a bit of a twist, but he drops it all under control. He goes up that back straight. It's 04, Ricky Sanford from 26, Mark Giles. Then 49, John Pilcher. Mark Giles holding a very tight line there, trying to come on terms with Ricky Sanford, but it's Ricky Sanford again who leads. He was in front when they stopped the last one, and he's in front in the rerun. It's 0-4, Ricky Sanford going for gold ahead of 26. Mark Giles there in second place, he's not picked up at all. But it seems coming past John Pilcher. And then Alan Carman. And they're going very well. 04, Ricky Sanford then from Mark Giles at half distance from Alan Carmen and Philip Sims, John Pilcher, Keith Richards, Brian Cornelius, Stephen King, Bernie Edwards, Jeff Urban, Dave Ivey, and Jason Paul. Sanford has got his car inside, but he's still struggling on in front where he likes to be. With another two laps to go from Mark Giles, Alan Carman, Philip Sims, John Pilcher, Keith Richards, and Brian Cornelius. Those positions are laying unchanged. Brian Cornelius challenging hard on Keith Richards' back wheel there. Coming out of this third now and looking a little bit tired. They start their last lap, it's 04, Ricky Sanford from 26, Mark Giles. Now, who has got the stamina left after those five grueling laps? Five and a half grueling laps, and there's just half a lap to go. They're going to enter the last turn for the last time. Ricky Sanford has gone so far from start to finish, but Mark Giles is gaining ground. They come out of that corner very, very close indeed. It's a mad dash to the line, but it's just Ricky Sanford from Mark Giles in second. Then Alan Carman, Philip Sims, John Pilcher, Brian Cornelius, and Keith Richards. Sims, Tim Bennett, uh, Rob Wilson, Ian Aram, Harry Ross, and the other one that I can't remember his name is the 43. <laughs> Roy Spreadbury. Spread Spreadbury. They're all rearing to go, they all want to win this final.
Should be a good one. And they're away. Wouldn't say that was the best of starts, but they're away. Mick Cameron into the lead with Tim Bennett in second. Mick Cameron it is. Tim Bennett, Jerry Adams, Dave Steer, Rob Wilson, Ian Aram and Harry Ross bringing up the rear. Mick Cameron means the business. In the lead there with Paul Randall in the chair. Tim Bennett going well in second. Dave Steer going well in third. Rob Wilson in fourth. Then Jerry Adams. As the leaders look over their shoulders to see where, where the next ones are. Rob Wilson's moved up to third. Trying to go past Tim Bennett on the inside, but Tim Bennett pulls the power on. But Mick Cameron's certainly got the power turned on. Powering it on all the way. He's got a good lead there from the second man who's now Rob Wilson, Tim Bennett, Dave Steer, then Royce Redbury, then Jerry Adams, and then Ian Aaron bringing up the rear. The action down at the bottom bend, it's Mick Cameron coming through. The dust forming quite a bit now. Rob Wilson, Dave Steer, Tim Bennett, Royce Redbury, Jerry Adams. And Ian Aram. And look at Mick Cameron flying into that corner. Harry Ross just coming through. The leader coming up to take the last lap flag. Mick Cameron. Rob Wilson. Dave Steer. And they're certainly not hanging about, although they're spreading out. A good gap between Mick Cameron and Rob Wilson. And then Dave Steer, but then there's another long gap as Harry Ross comes through. And Mick Cameron and Paul Randall take the checker flag from Rob Wilson and Dave Steer, and that was very close. From Tim Bennett in full. Roy Spreadbury, Ian Aram, Jerry Adams. One more to come, Harry Ross. Through the dust there. <laughs> They're on the line, just waiting for those tapes to go. Somebody has. <laughs> John Fish off to a good start. And also Dave Penvold. It's Dave Penvold goes into the lead with Tommy Penvold and John Fish there together. Billy Penvold bringing up the rear. Dave Penvold. Key number down. Taking that lead. John Fish in second. Billy, uh, sorry, John O'Donnell in third. Bob Miles in fourth. Dave Penvold, the centre champion in the lead from John Fish. John O'Donnell. Ray Tullett, George Penfold, and Billy Penfold there together. The leader, got quite a lead already from John Fish. Just coming up to complete lap two. It's Dave Penfold from John Fish. Bob Miles, John O'Donnell, Ray Tullett, and Billy Penfold. I lost somebody. We lost Tommy Penfold and Bill Penfold, so David Penfold got it reasonably easy out in the lead from John Fish, Bob Miles, Ray Tollett still holding full, and then Billy Penfold bringing up the rear. Yes, we lost John O'Donnell now, who gradually dropping out like flies and Dave Penfold as I said taking it reasonably easy but a good scrap going on for second place still John Fish holding it for Bob Miles Bob got the lead in second place there but uh, John Fish got it back as Dave Penfold takes the last lap flag on his last lap and this scrap going on for second place between Bob Miles and John Fish. 
John Fish holding the tight line. Bob Mark trying to get around the outside as John Fish puts the pressure on. Opens that throttle. As Dave Penfold comes out of that corner, going for gold for the checker flag. It's a win for Dave Penfold. From John Fish in second, Bob Mark in third. A long way back. Ray Tullin in fourth. Red flag up on the first turn. Well, unfortunately, it looks as though uh, Jamie Pantry is being taken off to hospital as the ambulance goes away and also his father's van following it. So, sincerely hope he's OK. We will wait him for a broken down outfit to be removed from the circuit. We're waiting for the marshals to get back in position. Red flag goes down, so those riders will come under starter's orders. And within a few seconds now, they'll be hurtling their way down to that first turn. Who's going to get there first? It's Duncan Thomas from John Wilson, Steve Wilson, Vince Kinchin, Chris Tritton. They're all there on the first turn. Vince Kinchin's done the big one right round the outside. Duncan Thomas walking up on the inside there, side by side up that straight into that turn. Duncan Tollis, Vince Kinchin, out of the turn, it's Vince Kinchin from Duncan Tollis. Vince Kinchin with the late down Gordon and Duncan Tollis with the upright GM. Duncan taking the very tight line and Vince Kinchin taking that line to the outside line. You've got to go much faster to go around the outside. Now the corner right there, that's not one of the Wilson brothers. It's John Wilson, I believe, I think Vince Kinchin has just lost his steel shoe. Number eight, Vincent Kinchin, now leg trailing his way round the outside. And Duncan Tullis still holding us at second place. And number three, Chris Tritton, moving in to try and take that second place from Duncan Tullis. So, around they come, very, very fast indeed. It's Vincent Kinchin, the current double 500cc champion of the South East Centre. He's going for gold in this one. Duncan Tullis still holding us at second place. Chris Tritton there in third. And then Steve Wilson. So Vincent Kinchin coming around there very, very fast. Just two more laps to go. It's Vincent Kinchin from Duncan Tullers. Chris Fritton, Steve Wilson, David Mears, Paul Mitchell, Robin Vilcher. Starting to lap the tail ends is now. It's Pete Richards there. He's his offer. Pulls out of the race. Coming around there very, very fast indeed. Starting his last lap now without a steel shoe. It's number eight, Vincent Kinchin, and he looks to be slowing into that turn. Duncan Tullis there in a good second place. Steve Wilson still holding a good third. David Mears and Paul Mitchell. So it's the last turn for the last time, and Vince Kinchin looks unstoppable as he comes round that turn. Very, very fast indeed. The last lap, I see. Checkered flag goes, and it was a win for Vincent Kinchin. From Steve Wilson in second, Duncan Tullis in third. Dave Mears in fourth. John Tyso off to a good start. Well, he's off to a good start. As I say, Brian Holland in second. Brian Holland in second, I said, and he's last. Um, he's riding out for 173. John Tyso it is in this Brighton members race in the lead. And the, bat the battle of the cuffs. Neil Cuff in father in leading son, Martin in third. And Brian Holland ride on Jonathan Fish's outfit short lived. Hope he hasn't blown that motor up as well, for his sake as well as John Fish's. So it's John Tyso, the local lad in the lead. From Neil Cuff, Martin Cuff, Ray Tullett. And we didn't have that one down. He's uh, obviously a, the additional rider in that one, Keith Lesseter. Obviously he belongs to the Brighton Club, so he's uh, going to ride for the Brighton members race. John Tyso coming up now to take the last lap flag. It's John Tyso. Neil Cuff out with chain off. That's Martin Cuff who goes up in a second. Certainly been a lot of chains off this afternoon. Like Martin said earlier on, the don't think the track looks too bumpy, but um, yes, 
probably it is. You can tell that the way that's going. And John Tyso takes the track of the checker flag to win the Brighton members race, followed by Martin Cuff, Ray Tullett, <coughs> Keith Lassiter. And that should be about it.